Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I look like Casper's sister or Casper's cousin or something because I don't have any dimensions on my face and I look like a ghost with just a white blank face. But that is because today I'm here to film a Get Ready With Me featuring an everyday look with um, an ombre black to grey lip. I think it will be very cool and it will be also very autumnal, which I'm so excited for. I'm, I love autumn, I love fall, it's my favorite season. My birthday is in autumn, so why wouldn't I love autumn? Anyway, I have already applied my foundation and stuff like that. Normally, I would apply my eyes first, but today, since the eyes are so simple and so easy, I thought I'm just gonna get my face over with, and I will show you how I apply my eye makeup my cheek products and of course my lips. I will skip brows and I will skip mascara because these are like self-explanatory. You don't really need me to teach you how to apply your face products. But today for eyes, I'm only going to use one product and no brushes. No brushes, only eyes. And for that product, I'm going to use a waterproof eye eyeshadow crayon in a silver kind of um, taupey color, something very cool toned, like this one. I'm going to use today the Pupa Waterproof Eyeshadow Made to Last in the shade 005. It does have a name, but the name isn't written on the packaging, so I'm just going to give you the number and I'm going to leave the name in the description box down below. But any eyeshadow crayon that uh, looks like this is fantastic. I am going to apply it on my eyes straight from the crayon and I'm going to blend it with my fingers. I'm going to use this mirror to look because I don't want to be applying on my brows. Um, now the great thing about this product is that it's extremely, extremely long lasting. What that means is that I don't even need a primer and I'm going to apply it on my mobile lid and and the application the moment I reach the crease and then I'm gonna I'm gonna blend it upwards and kind of tap it with my finger just like so it's literally like the easiest makeup tutorial in the history of mankind and then I'm gonna grab a little bit and I'm gonna apply it hold on a second let me get some product out of this pencil or crayon and I'm gonna apply it on my lower lash line and I'm gonna blend it a little bit with my pinky Nothing too drastic, just to get this kind of smoky, silvery effect that's very soft and very everyday friendly. I will do the same thing, obviously, on the second eye. That's pretty much it for the eyes, other than, of course, mascara and stuff like that. Okay, see? Super easy. I will start off then with my face, and I need to contour because I think that contouring brings everything autumnal together. I'm going to use my Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in Medium and my MAC 109, 106, something like that. I'll definitely leave it in the comments bar down below, in the description box down below. I'm going to apply a little bit underneath my lip. First of all because it's going to be a cool toned color and it's going to tie the whole thing together and also it's going to give my lips a little bit more dimension and shape. I'm going to apply around my nose because it helps slim down my nose a little bit. Not that my nose is big or anything. For me, it just ties the whole thing together. Obviously, I'm going to apply some on 
or under my cheekbones over here. And I'm going to end it by the very end of my eye, like on that same line. With my Guerlain Four Seasons bronzer, I'm going to swirl my brush around all of the shades. And I'm going to kind of blend my contour a little bit. And apply some on my temples. After applying that bronzer just a little bit on the skin, I need to apply some of my favorite everyday highlighter all over the areas where I want to naturally highlight and not highlight to the moon. So to naturally highlight, I like to use my El Maquillage highlighter in the shade Halo. It is just super duper natural and that's what I love about it. I'm going to grab my powder brush. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to apply a little bit of that on the tip of my chin, on the sides of my nose, and obviously on the center of my forehead. Now to highlight to the moon, because this look has nothing to do with blushers, I want to keep the skin as neutral as can be and as cool toned as can be. That's why I didn't really bronze that intensely. I'll use my Mary Luminizer, which is broken to a million pieces. Unfortunately, I cannot show you. Well, let me try to show you how broken mine is. Like, look at that. This is sad. I'm going to use my fan brush from Smashbox because this is literally my favorite highlighter brush and I'm going to apply it on the tip of my cheekbones yep. and also just over my brow with whatever residue is left on my brush obviously. I'll grab the same brush and apply this highlighter on the bridge of my nose. Like that. And with a finger on my cupid's bow and on the tear duct area. We made it to the lips part, yay! So to start off with the lips, I want to take a black pencil liner and I'm going to apply it on the outer corners of my mouth, on both the lower lip and of course the upper lip. So let us do this. Give me a second to take out my pencil. All right, we're going to do this. Are you ready? lipstick and we're going to use the Smashbox lipstick in the shade Punked. And this is basically the Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick in the matte 
formula and I think that this is made in Canada which is awesome all right so let us do this And that is pretty much the entire look. I really love it. I think that it's just perfect for, I would say, every day. I, I would totally wear it on an everyday basis. And I have actually worn black lips. I've worn super dark lips on a daily basis. And I think that what makes it every day is how simple the rest of the face actually is. So basically, this is the only statement. The eyes are very, very subtle. And also, the cheeks are very, very neutral. And there's no like clash of color all over the face I feel like this look is very cohesive it follows the same colors more or less and it's just absolutely beautiful i really really like it i love the lips and i love how simple the rest of the face is and this is i think what makes it appropriate for every day because the rest of the face is very neutral it kind of follows the same color scheme which i think is absolutely perfect for pulling off a color like this i think that if you would wear something that would clash too much with it then it would make it stand out more but if the entire face and the entire outfit also kind of goes along those kind of colors then it would make the look perfect for every day so yeah that is all for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i hope to see all of you in the very next video if you do have requests for future videos definitely leave them in the comments bar down below and i will hopefully see all of you in the next one bye Mwah.